Welcome back to Pokemon Xenoverse. What the hell was that intro? <laughs> it has been a hot minute since the last episode, so let's do a classic munch recap for those of you that are new here and haven't seen Pokemon Xenoverse before. It is without a doubt one of the best Pokemon fan games I've ever played, right up there with Insurgents and Uranium, with the main gimmick being in the name itself, the Xenoverse Pokemon which are pretty similar to regional variants that change their type, abilities, and I've especially loved how they're incorporated into the gameplay, basically between every gym battle. There is like a Xeno Pokemon boss battle that adds a lot to the story as well, with the latest one being this super epic Xeno Rapidash who came thundering down on Team Dimension here in the wild, wild west, which is the last area we were exploring. And we actually made it to West Star City, which is where the fourth gym is. But apparently there's some kind of side quest we've got to take on before the gym leader will face us. And that is where we last left off about a week ago. So leave a like if you guys are excited for more Xenoverse. And let's get right into it as we find ourselves in West Star City, the wild, wild, ghostly west where we have the Geist Firehouse, basically the Ghostbusters of this game, but a little bit more. Yeah! Yo, the music in here. What the heck? Hola, Munch. I've been waiting for you. Sorry to keep you waiting. I know it's been quite a while. Actually, just a week, but it feels like it's been forever. Bienvenido to the Geist Firehouse. Here we monitor the city to thwart fires or infestations efficiently. I said I'd introduce you to my co-workers, so ven conmigo! I'll show you the other rooms of the firehouse while I'm at it. Vamos! Last episode, I think I had her with a more like southern accent, but I've realized now that she actually speaks Spanish, so... This is my office! It may not be much, but I keep all the team's achievements here. Over there is one of the members of our group. Come on, I'll introduce you! Oh, you mean Blastoise? <laughs> it actually is! Buster! My trusty Blastoise! Man's got a scar over his eye, that's how you know he means business. Buster is no common Blastoise, you see the cannons on its shells? While returning from a mission, we met some punks who were harassing a poor Cubone. The Pokemon immediately put itself in front of the little guy to protect it from those perros, but alas, those desperados managed to break its cannons. Buster without its best weapon couldn't put its all in our missions, so Chrysler, the team's brain, invented some artificial prosthetics for it. That Gordo never stops surprising me. He wasn't content with just creating cannons to shoot high-pressured water. He added a vacuum function, the ideal function for ghost hunting. Isn't that right, amigo? We got Blastoise, the literal ghost buster. Oh, that's why his name is Buster. And here I was thinking about the freaking rabbit from Arthur. <laughs> As you can see, we're two peas in a pod. Well, there's not much else here. Let's keep going. But where are we going? I want to see Blastoise cannons up close and personal. Follow me, Munch. Ooh, downstairs now. We're now in the storage room. Here we keep our weapons for ghost hunting and the spare parts for our vehicles. Hey, Blondie, don't you see we got guests? Be a good host and introduce yourself. Come on. No need to get so riled up, Minta. He is just a squirt after all. Who is this man? This Capra. Oh my god, that's a bad word, Minta. Salem, the reckless who drives geist vehicles and... No need to make it that long, Minta. You just need to say that I'm muy hermoso. <laughs> He's definitely a gringo. A boaster as usual. Come on, Minta. No point hiding the truth, right? Nothing scares me. May there be fires or ghosts, I'll blow them away with my charm. <laughs> no offense, Salem, but you're hopeless. Come on, Munch. Let's leave this idiot here. <laughs> I love this. Other members of the team should be upstairs. Let's go. Like the whole gang? Camaraderie? I live for it. This is the relaxation area. This is where we enjoy some well-deserved rest after our missions. Oh look, it's Will. Hey, everything okay? You look like you've seen a giga ghost Oh, uh, hi, Minta. Dude was just enjoying new Pokemon Snap on the Switch. You can see it right there. What's wrong? Uh, nothing, just a bad dream. Uh, sis? Who's this? Oh, you're right, Niñito, this is Munch, a Pokemon trainer. Wow, are you serious? Besides Minta and Salem, I have never seen other trainers around here. Nice to meet you, I'm Will. 
As you can see, our Will here is very shy, but he's a sweet boy to boot. You're making me blush, Minta, but thanks for the compliments. It's the truth! Munch, you must know that Geist was founded by Will's father. We owe everything to him. Dad passed away a few years back, though. My friends and I try every day to protect what he created, although I'm still not ready to... Will, don't say that. You know that ain't true. You should be more confident. Thanks, sis. I promise I'll try. Good, Niñito. That's the spirit. Let's go back downstairs. Time to meet our last partner. So Will is basically the Armin of the group, and I guess Minta's more like the Mikasa, if you've seen Attack on Titan. So does that mean that this is Eren? Basically the heart of the firehouse, the laboratory. Here we archive all the info regarding paranormal phenomena, studying the means to fight them back. But none of this would be possible without our genius! Hola, Chrysler! Is it a bad time? I've entered someone to introduce you to! Oh, never mind, it's the... Hanji, the scientist of the group. One of Chrysler's quirks is being a man of few words. Other than that, our team would be nothing without his work. Hey, Chrysler, will you even look at us? Say hi to our g- He is Munch, a Pokemon trainer you met in Wild Bull Saloon's vicinities. The kid has come in this town to challenge Sheriff Caspar, but some Team Dimension grunts involved in the recent events blocked the gate to the gym. That's the reason why you let him here. Chrysler, were you spying on me or something? Negative, Captain. Simply you weren't aware your transceiver was in function. Whoops, my fault. Still introducing each other face to face is better. There's no time, the city's in grave danger! Huh? Could you be more specific, Chrysler? Is dude really holding a rice cake? Hey, Christ nerd! Why'd you call me? I hope for you it's something important. Oh, he called up Will too. The whole gang is here! Why the meeting? Shut up, you two! Let Chrysler speak! He must have his reasons! Captain, you have captured a strange magnetic field in the Wild Bull Saloon area, right? Yeah, I have. On second thought, it was a really abnormal presence, way more intense than usual. But when Munch arrived, I completely forgot about it. See? A chance to throw one under the bus, and it's all this squirt's fault! Buster, shut up that show off! Yo, Blastoise, calm down, man! Shh, keep it quiet, Buster. Come on, guys, this isn't the time for arguments! Actually, if the captain hadn't come in contact with Munch, she would be a prisoner of the saloon's ectoplasm now. Are you dumb, Chrysler? I hate Minta's guts, but even I have to admit how tough she is. Nothing would have changed. Negative. The captain's skills are in fact high, but not high enough. However, Munch's arrival must have triggered something in the ectoplasm that made it disappear. That's why, when I met him, I couldn't pick up anything. Hombre, you must be a formidable trader! The anomaly isn't gone from the radars, it's probably still wandering inside the saloon. However, we possess no data regarding this Pokémon. For all we know, there could be more than one. We must act quickly, but we need a good plan. I have a really bad feeling. I'm so scared right now. What are we waiting for? To the saloon! We'll come up with a plan to get rid of that entity once and for all. My sources indicate you are here to challenge Gym Leader Kaspar. My knowledge might be enough to reprogram Team Dimension's robots so we could free the gym. But we need your help just as much as you need ours. So I'm asking us, or you, to assist us on this mission. I'm sick of all this chit chat. The last one that gets there smells like a garbage door. Okay. Hombre, so reckless! I swear I'm gonna give you a lesson! We're going to the Wild Bull Saloon, Munch. We'll be waiting for you, in case you're willing to accept our deal. Oh, I'm ready, dude. Even though I did want to take on the gym, this seems like a much more interesting side quest anyway, so let's get it, dude. Ghost busting time! Busting makes me feel good. Before we do, I actually didn't realize that this tower here in the cemetery we can actually go inside of and explore. You'll always be safe in the Light Beings house. The who? Why have you forsaken me, Vulpix? Oh no, did little Vulpix die? What, what, what is forsaken again? In one of his books, Caspar writes that prayers help to relieve pain to the other world. Who knows, que pasa down there? What, down there? You claiming we're going to hell? I thought we were talking about heaven here. We're clearly in some kind of church. 
Almighty Luxflon, grant peace to the tormented souls. So we're in the church of Luxflon right now, which we found out is one of the two main legendaries of Xenoverse. Uh, the light legendary. And then there's also a darkness legendary, apparently. Because you can't have light without darkness, and you can't have Skorakno without Chickaboo, who I actually forgot that I have on the team. But this might work out, actually, if we go for a thief. That should be super effective, but hopefully not kill it. Okay. <laughs> apparently Chickaboo is just OP. And yeah, I do have it on the team because... I think it evolves by Dust Stone, and we did manage to get one last episode in one of the houses nearby. So, if we can actually get this Chickaboo to evolve into its second form, then we can just use that Dust Stone and get ourselves a brand spanking new evolution uh, that we haven't seen yet. But apparently, there's a lot of. Oh! Actually, a lot of diversity in the Pokemon here, too, as now we've got. Nunville, the Nun Pokemon. <laughs> I can't say that is something I ever expected to see in any Pokemon game, honestly. Nest Ball is for weaker Pokemon. I wouldn't say this Nun is weak at all. I mean, you know, you could argue about Nuns themselves, but the Nun Pokemon is apparently weak too. O okay. They may be weak physically, but they are strong in spirit. Behind its lovely, graceful appearance lies a spiteful side. It will terrify its enemies just for fun. A ghost and fairy type. And I think this is actually the other Pokemon that evolves with the Ghost Pendant we used last episode to evolve our puppy on. And I have a perfect name for you, as I was literally watching this movie yesterday for Cinco de Mayo. Oh, it doesn't fit! I guess I'll just call you Hermana, which just means sister, but... It's more of a religious kind of sister in this case. Um, at least in the church that I went to as a kid, everybody would call each other hermano and hermana. I don't know if that's a thing in like English speaking churches. Well, I guess, yeah, in the Mormon church, even in English, they call each other like Brother Smith or Brother Skarakluo. Oh, okay. I didn't actually know that you were in here and I'm kind of scared to even use Chickaboo to fight it. But this is the Pokemon that we heard about, um, evolves in the cemetery, apparently. Although it might be only at nighttime, I don't remember now, but I know that for sure this Pokemon evolves by leveling it up specifically in the cemetery outside of this tower that we're at right now, so hopefully we don't catch it. Uh, I mean, I do want to catch it, but we didn't that time. Thanks to the power of editing, we can just cut all that struggle out, as we have now got the Skarak Gluo. I don't know where that name comes from, but it's known as the Phobia Pokemon. The fear of dangers lurking in the darkness, usually seen among children, has somehow spawned this weird Pokemon. A ghost and psychic type, which might actually be worth adding onto the team. I'm not certain, but I'll give it a nickname for now, because I actually thought of one, and that is Murci, short for Murcielago, which means bat in Spanish. I feel it's very appropriate since this whole area is very Spanish, you know, speaking and yeah, I mean, gotta make the name Spanish too, but here we've got the final Pokemon that I've been looking for, or well, technically we found it earlier, but then I killed it on accident, but it is going to be Skarakno, and it might actually be the pre-evolution of the one that we just caught, considering they both got Skara in their name, or Skara, oh my god, what, did I just use Fain Attack or Thief? Why did that one-shot it again? I thought Fain Attack did... Uh, excuse me. I actually really want to catch one of those. And, and it was at level 29 too, which means we could potentially just add it onto the team right now. There we go. Finally, Skarakno is caught in the Nest Ball as well. It is also known as the Phobia Pokemon. Supposed to be a physical manifestation of the bug-type phobia mankind has always had since ancient times. I can't say that I really get it. But I also don't think I'm going to give you a nickname since we already caught your evolution too. I mean, it might be more worth it to train the pre-evolution since it'll get more stats and whatnot. But yeah, I didn't realize at first the Scara or Scare part of its name comes from literally being scared. Since it is the Phobia Pokemon, the irrational fear of many things that humans seem to have. And a topic that for some reason keeps coming up in my videos, like just last episode, or well, of Pokemon Snap. I was talking about arachnophobia. I just realized we don't even have Dream on the team. So I don't know if I should keep the ones we've got. I mean, I do want to see the evolution of Chickaboo. 
And we did just get Lancelot last episode, so maybe we'll put you up first and see how it do, because this is the Wild Bull Saloon, the haunted place we're supposed to investigate much. So you've decided to give us a hand on the mission. Que alegría! This ruined building in the Wild Bull Saloon. Not many years ago, it used to be one of Westar City's main attractions. Can you believe it? The owner, Chemple, built it about a century ago, taking the role as the bartender as well. Every zone was finely organized. For instance, the one we're occupying right now was the Battle Room. Here, both Westar City citizens and outsiders used to fight between one drink and the next one. Oh, I thought it was like for Pokemon battles. All good things come to an end, though. Someone spread a rumor about a monstrous Pokemon hidden by the owner. People, even though they've never seen the creature, believe the rumor and so Chempo started seeing, day after day, his clients disappearing, one after the other, until he was left alone. So this saloon, that has been deserted ever since, became the home of ghost-type Pokemon. But Geist will never let an arrogant two-bit spirit take it for itself, ruining Mr. Chempo's work. That's why we're here. Now that everyone's here, we can finally start its magic. That's right, Munch. Until the end of the mission, you're gonna be a part of the team. Let's go through the area for clues. Vamonos! <laughs> I really kind of gave her a Dora voice, but it's no joke. She do be saying Vamonos, just like Dora does. I don't know why I imagine this Blastoise actually talking. Like, you go up to it, it's just like... My name is Jeff. Oh, speaking of ghosts, we're going to run into our first, which is going to be the Haunter. And the background, dude, with those Toro statues hanging on the walls. Very creepy stuff. I also just realized how maybe Lancelot is not the best Pokemon to bring into... A ghost area, considering he's fighting type. Okay. Man of little words, I guess. Actually, that is what, uh... Oh, what the heck? There's a glowing thing in the corner. That definitely means there's a Xeno Pokemon lurking here. Munch, it's you. I'm really happy you're helping us. I'm finally seeing a real trainer in action. Yeah, just wait till you see my real shiny something. It's the saloon key. Dang it, man. All I want is a Xenolith for my Xeno Electabuzz, which I guess I might as well grab out of the PC right now since, uh, well, we could have done it for free in the Pokemon Center, but yeah, this Pokemon right here, Prometheus, has fallen quite behind in levels because we just can't find the thing to evolve it. I'm also thinking of grabbing Nimbus, the flying Ponyta that we got a couple or well, literally last episode. It just feels like it's been a while now, but yeah, that is uh, one of the four Xeno Pokemon we've got now. And I guess technically Prometheus is the fifth. We'll keep Chickaboo, because I do want to see that evolution. And before we head out of this room, another night here at the saloon. The clients and their Pokemon between a drink and the next one spent their time battling. Music and loud choirs echoed in the theater room, making the desolate West Star look like a nightlife city. Despite being the owner of this shack, I've never been a partier, so I just used to watch others having fun, proudly enjoying the results of my efforts. Suddenly, like a bolt from the blue, I felt a shiver down my spine. My observing spirit led me to find out something extraordinary that night. I saw a shadow hiding between the customers of the saloon, a shadow that resembled a Pokemon. Ever since then, my working days have never been the same. Looks like the first ripped page from a diary. That was all just one page? I'm guessing from Chembo's diary since he was the owner of the saloon. And this door is locked. So I'm guessing the saloon key that we got is for another spot. Oh, what the heck? You can find level 30 Skoraknos in here. Why did I even waste my time catching them earlier? We could have just came straight here and critical hit it to dad. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, if we do manage to find another higher level one, I'll just try to catch it because... Yeah, that'll definitely save us some time training to see that final evolution, the one that apparently evolves at the cemetery. And there is way too many... Oh, hey, Litwick! I was gonna say just wild Pokemon in general, but since this is one we haven't seen yet, might as well show it off. Hey, Squirt, try not to get in my way! Okay, okay. That door is locked too. So where does the door to the saloon? I mean, the key that we got. It was the saloon key, so... Maybe it's this over left or not? 
I mean, we got another shiny on the floor. Another saloon key. Come on, dude. They, they're not even properly labeled for like the different rooms. So we literally just got a little guessing game as to which key belongs to what. Hey, Eviolite! We could actually put that Eviolite on our Electabuzz right now and make it doubly as strong, at least in its defensive stats. So yeah, take that Prometheus until we find that thing that you need to evolve. Oh, we actually have two Dust Stones. I don't know where I got the second one, but I know one of them we got last episode in town. Twas just a Haunter though, but please tell me, yes! One of the keys is for this room now, so I saw another sparkly object in the corner and another Skarachno. There's the level 32. So we just gotta make sure we weaken it without killing it. Low kick doesn't affect it at all. I forgot it's actually a ghost type. I'll go for Mursi, even though we already had another one named Mursi. Only one of them is gonna end up being the true Mursi. Oh my gosh, now I'm, like, the accent is sticking. <laughs> Before we go any further, though, I want to spray a repel. At least I think I have some. Thankfully, we do, because, yeah, I don't think there's any more crazy ghost Pokemon in here, and in case you didn't have a repel, well, there you found one in the box. But more importantly, we've got yet another saloon key. How many of these are we going to find lurking? What was that? By the way, my uh, screen was shaking and obviously that horrible sound. Hombre, Salem, que demonios has gotten into you? Come on, hurry up, we have a problem. Oh, someone's gone possessed. Yup, that's terrifying. Madre de Dios, that kaboom suddenly lost control and turned against us. Oh. I'm so scared. Stop a munch, please. There's no need for you to waste your energies. This is my duty. What, are you gonna throw that onigiri at him? Is that what it's called? These donuts are great. Jelly filled are my favorite. Nothing beats a jelly filled donut. No offense, Chrysler, but Munch is definitely more qualified than you. You aren't even a real trainer after all. Damn. Affirmative, Captain. The plan I designed, though, has a high success ratio, just because my strength isn't comparable to Munch's. All right. I know I can trust you. Thank you. Go for it, man. I want to see what you've got. Transfer protocol. 40, 70, 90, 100, start. What? Get demonios is going on here. Why is that turbo flying? Idiota, did you already forget everything? Poor Chrysler saved you by letting himself be taken by the Pokemon that possessed you. Uh, what? Then I have the chance to redeem myself. Don't worry, Tubbo. I'll save your fat behind. On. I can't attack old Chrysler, though. What to do? Don't worry. Leave it up to me. Out of the way. Looks like Munch wants to handle this. So we're taking on Chrysler himself? Oh, I see. He's going to have some ghosties. Or... Pikachu? I'm so confused, dude. Obviously, he's possessed, but I thought maybe he'd have some ghost Pokemon instead. We're fighting Pikachu. So, it's probably just Chrysler's actual team, and we're not fighting him physically, because, yeah, th that's not allowed in the Pokemon world. You can't fight a human or even attack them with any Pokemon moves. That is blasphemous. But next up, he's going to have a Metang. So, it's a good thing we actually brought Prometheus back, since... He is a fire type, and actually, thanks to new Pokemon Snap, the layout should now be updated to include the Pokemon's types as well, uh, which is one of the things that I was missing from doing the no face cam videos is the layout definitely had a little bit more information on it, but now we get the best of both worlds. At least we have the types, but still not the names, because that would be way too much to fit. Anyway, Chrysler's last Pokemon is Clang, which is also very weak to fire. Uh, getting burned too. I'm surprised we didn't one-shot it to be honest. I guess because Flame Charge or Flame Burst is physical, or sorry, special, and Prometheus is more of a physical attacker. So we should have probably stuck with Fire Punch and we might have one-shot it, but in the end, the fire does it in, or rather, the burn. Chrysler, todo bien? Roomf! What does that mean? The battle must have made him tired. Chrysler, thank you for taking this risk in order to save us, but more importantly, muchas gracias, Munch. I 
angry with Sis, but you were amazing. All in a day's work. Still too early for celebrations though. The Pokemon is still on the loose. It could put any of us against the others at any moment. Oh gosh, we're gonna have to fight more Tubbos. I'll make that bastard pay. Munch, give me that key. Oh, come on, dude. You're too reckless. Que demonios are you thinking? We can't split up at a time like this. Seriously, did you not learn anything from Scooby-Doo? Even Blastoise is disappointed. Guys, don't leave me by myself. Oh, no. Split up and search for clues is never a good idea, but it's too late now. No Geist members in sight. I'm gonna guess we're gonna have to take on all of them one by one as they've been possessed. This room, though, got an awful lot of floating candles, man. The ghostly presences in here are off the charts, dude. And I don't know if we can actually get onto that main stage, at least not yet. But there is a suspiciously blue candle. Oh, there's more than one blue candle, actually. Have you guys ever actually seen any ghost hunting shows? I know that they're kind of like corny and cheesy and... Oh. Uh... You good, dude? Just gonna disappear on me, are ya? And turn the whole room red. Anyway, I actually kind of like watching those ghost shows sometimes. It depends on who it is, like... I personally enjoy them if the host is good at making it seem believable. Like, if the person on camera makes me believe that there's really ghosts in there, then I like the show. But in this game though, and in the Pokemon world in general, we know... Ghosts are definitely real. As now we've got a blue hue... Oh goodness me. Are we stuck already? Okay, no, never mind. It's so dark in here, man. It's kind of hard to tell where I'm even supposed to walk. Eventually. Dude, there's got to be a way onto the stage. Like, there's no way unless... Oh. I don't know why I thought this was, like, a wall. That, like, line running down. I'm, I'm stupid. All right, well, we're on the stage. And as I was saying, this is possibly the creepiest thing I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. Do we really have to... Oh. I've been waiting just for you, Munch. You're on a whole different level than the other ones. Are you surprised that I can talk? It's nothing special, really. A puppet master like me can easily take control of other people's bodies. I'm Hangid, a Pokemon that has resided in this saloon for too much time now. These decaying walls disgust me, and I really need a change of scenery. Your presence, though, really piqued my interest. I've never met anyone gifted both with such love and such hatred. You're my real prey. But I have to admit, this hatred-filled body is not bad at all. I could get quite used to it. This guy, behind the facade of the tough guy, only wants to prove himself to be useful to his companions. Such a perfect pawn for my game. And now it's time to test you, to see how far I can push this Blondie's body. We got a battle against the Possessed Salem. Hey, that's not allowed here either, dude. That is a children's game. No smoking. Didn't you see the signs outside? The fire, it's a hot firehouse for a reason. Okay, maybe that one doesn't make much sense. But Hangid is actually the evolution of Puppion which we evolved actually at the end of the last episode. I showed off its evolution and whatnot. And I believe it is actually the other Pokemon alongside the nun that evolves with that ghost pendant. So I guess that is what we're facing here. The Pokemon that's possessing Geist slowly. Uh, Houndoom coming out next. I guess we can just keep low kicking then. Even though Prometheus is pretty low on health itself. So I don't know if... Uh, Wow, we left it with literally one health. We're probably going down here. Oh, what the? Why did that beat up do nothing? Is beat up the attack that works based off how many, like, Pokemon you have in your party? Because, yeah, if I'd already taken out almost all of Salem's Pokemon, then that would make sense why the Houndoom barely hurt us. That's, that, that, that was it. We actually only had two Pokemon. Que dolor! Squirt, is that you? Let me guess, you saved my bacon again, haven't you? This is absurd. I managed to get myself beaten by a little kid. 
I let my pride fog my mind and I act just carelessly. It's my fault we're in this situation now. Yeah, it is all your fault, bro. I can't move an inch, as if all the energy I had had been drained. That damn thing must still be roaming the saloon. Much, you're the only one who can do this. Save Minta and Will, por favor! Maybe he's not a gringo after all. He does seem to be Spanish, or speak Spanish too. Let me tell you this though. You may have defeated me, but I'm still the most handsome. Come on, make that bastard put. Why would you even? <sighs> well, since then, every day I used to wait for that shadow to come back. At nightfall, like clockwork, I was stunned to see this happening. My soul was frightened and at the same time intrigued by that mysterious presence. However, if my clientele knew that a ghost Pokemon had been haunting the saloon during their parties, everyone would never come back. So late at night, when no one was in the bar, I started playing on the piano, an old song I learned from my father. I was so lost in my melody that I didn't notice the shadow was showing itself in my eyes. I'll be frank, the fear overwhelmed my curiosity then. I stopped playing. But still I took courage and tried convincing that Pokemon I had no bad intentions. The shadow creature, like it was reading my heart, suddenly transmuted, showing off its true appearance. You could see suspicion in its eyes, but slowly our souls got closer. So that's the second page of the diary. And I didn't realize my repel ran out, but hey, there's Puppyon, which is the pre-evolution of the Pokemon that we're dealing with here. The one that is haunting the saloon, as we find a black flute. I don't actually know what that- what? Oh, it's a den. So we actually need Dream. I'm not gonna worry about it too much for now. I went ahead, sprayed Repel, and healed up Prometheus. And this piano... Oh. Apparently lets us change the music. To something even more creepy than what we had before. Well, uh... Where do we go next, actually? I'm guessing... Up this way. Aw, oh, come on! I actually like the piano music. I thought it was gonna stay throughout this area, too. Kind of unfortunate. Every day, the little one came to the saloon where... Okay, Will, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Finally, I found a new friend, but then... One night, a gang of outlaws alongside three Houndooms broke into the inn, raiding all my customers and my money. West Star has never been the city of trainers, so I didn't know who to ask for help, especially to protect at all costs that Pokemon. Among the people, a newborn infant broke down in tears and one of the Houndoom, sick of that whining, attacked her. I didn't want to witness such a brutal scene, so I shut my eyes. Once I opened them again, I saw the dark Pokemon groaning on the floor. It was my friend! The kind-hearted Pokemon stood up for the saloon and the baby! The three outlaws ordered their Houndoom a combined attack right away, but the small shadow threw them away in the blink of an eye. The thugs cut and ran and so I tried to reassure the customers, telling them what really happened. It was such a relief telling someone about that Pokemon strongly attached the saloon, but the outcome was not like I was expecting at all. The clientele, just by the idea that a ghost has been there for all the time, got terrified and fled. I tried explaining that the creature was inoffensive but I couldn't talk them out. Even my friends saddened about the whole story, hid into its own shadow. Since then, the saloon income crashed and no one came by anymore. This memory of mine now is nothing more than a nightmare that haunts my sleep. No more songs, no more dances or drinks. Everything is so sad and quiet here now. Not even it came back. Now it's just me and my worst enemy, the loneliness. What a sad story, man. I think it was actually a puppy yawn, like before it had evolved into Hangid. Because from the way that the bar owner describes it, it doesn't really sound like a very scary Pokemon. It was more like Casper, the friendly ghost or something. And is there really? Oh, come on. If there's not a hidden item here, then there ain't no hidden items in this game at all, man. I'm not even going to bother checking for them anymore. But I will grab that actual item that's up this way. And as I was saying, uh, I'm very curious to see the resolution of this ghost story. Because it's just kind of sad, man. I feel that in America, at least, whenever some place becomes haunted, yeah, I guess it can become abandoned by the majority. But then it becomes like its own cult thing where people that are curious about the paranormal 
or even like people that call themselves ghost hunters, you know, will flock to that area hoping to see something. And I'm personally on the skeptical side where I don't necessarily not believe in ghosts. There's a part of me that thinks it's all bullshit, but I want to believe if that makes sense. There you are. Want to play hide and seek with me? I really don't, Will, but if you insist, I guess I gotta go track him down. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna lie, guys. My patience is running a little thin right now because I'm very hungry. I haven't had breakfast for some reason. That was my first mistake, actually, was not getting food before recording. That's never a good idea. And I'm gonna learn from this, even though it's been years of me doing YouTube and I still haven't learned not to record on an empty stomach. I mean, I actually have learned not to do that. I just still do it for some reason, because uh, I don't know. But Will is really all the way around this room like, dude, I've run through so many repels just in this area alone. I guess they're not that expensive, though, but peekaboo. Really? We gotta go... T <sighs> Come on. Ooh, we got a new Pokemon. Mascot. Which technically we've caught, according to the Pokeball symbol there, but it's a new form for Mascot. This time, the Dark type, I'm assuming. Because it definitely looks like a Houndoom to me. Also, just realize it's not gonna show us its Dex entry because we've already got it registered. But I'm gonna assume this is the Dark and Bug version of Mazgo or Mascot, or however you pronounce that Pokemon. And I totally should have sprayed another Repel, cause really hungry, so I don't want to run into anything. But I think Will should be ready for a battle. Peekaboo! You know, I've always been a scaredy cat ever since I was a little kid. To help me overcome my fears, Dad used to bring me into hovels like this one. Just standing by his side vanquished all the uneasiness I could feel. Do you see this mechanic, Tauros? Every time we came here, Dad put me aboard it to make me forget about my fear of ghost Pokemon. Every time I think about those days, I see why I decided to follow in Daddy's footsteps. But now Dad's gone, left me all alone and still a coward. Possessing the body of this kid was actually pretty easy. Mostly because when he saw me, he started crying his heart out. <laughs> It may not be that blondie, but with this body, I feel like a real human. I could get used to this quickly. When I'll get rid of you, I'll be able to leave this wretched place and blend into your society without suspicion. So Hangit wants to become a human. Interesting. Oh no! The little ghost-busting pistol. It looks like a water gun, dude. Which I guess is what they're going for with Will being like literally a little kid. And he's actually got the Kidoon on his team too, which is what the little squirt gun is based off. And also the pre-evolution of our own Honshin here. And uh, knowing that Kidoon is a flying type, I guess I'll switch over to Milo. Even though it is basically like the Magikarp of this game, so it goes down very easily to basically any attack. But especially a super effective one, so goodbye little Kidoon and tell me that's it, please. Oh, a Bulbasaur too! That's interesting. My dude, Will, might be actually, uh, might actually be from Kanto. Because uh, that's the only place I know where you can get Bulbasaur. As a starter, at least. I guess you can find wild Bulbasaurs, but you managed to defeat me. I'll leave this place with the body. No! Hang it, this is my body! Go away! Are you trying to oppose me, coward? No one ever managed to get out of my control. You can't understand! I may be a coward and a worthless Pokémon trainer, but if you thought you could bring me down with your words, you've made a sore mistake! I'm not alone anymore! Sis, Buster, Chrysler, Salem, and Munch too! They're my family! Thanks to them, I'll find the strength to overcome my fears! Yeah, get him, Will! Damn, Damn it! it. My, my control, control is, is slipping. slipping! Dad taught me that harnessing the weaknesses of the souls of fragile people is wrong! But now, the sadness you were leeching on has become my will to fight! My guy's soul is burning bright! You have nothing to grab onto anymore! Hang it! Get out of my body! Hell yeah, Will! That's what I like! It's all over now! Thank you, Munch! Thank you so much! Please, save my sis and defeat that monster! Oh, I will! 
or will in the next episode because that's that I'm, I'm too hungry to keep going so leave a like if you enjoyed and stay tuned monday for the next xenoverse episode and i will catch you all then